hey guys welcome back to another little mini vlog so you guys we're gonna be making some beef burgers this is what they're looking like this is the great value ones um you get these at walmart before we go ahead and get into this little cooking video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and consider subscribing joining the family we'd love to have you guys um if you're already subscribed thank you very much for doing so we appreciate the support don't forget to like comment and share um don't forget we are doing the rewind january giveaway um that's going until the end of january if you want to take part all you have to do is watch any of our videos old or new um please leave a like and a comment message me on instagram hashtag rewind january um leave me your youtube username please be subscribed to the channel um only those who are subscribed will be entered into the giveaway okay so we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into it um these are let's see what type okay regular beef burgers these are actually really really good uh, let me see if i can bring these down so you guys can see if you've had these before let me know like i said it's a great value brand so we're gonna go ahead and open this up we haven't used it yet it's gonna make and i'm using my really small frying pan um so i'm gonna be doing them one at a time let me just grab the oil I'm going to turn on the stove here. I'm going to put it not too high. I'm going to put it on about six. I just want this oil to heat up. And I'm using my favorite vegetable oil. Let me know what, what oil you guys use to cook. Do you use vegetable, sunflower? Um, there's all types of different oils. Olive. Grab a plate Ooh. down right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and take out two of these. Or I'll probably just do one at a time. Ooh, this packaging is took two of them out. And then I'll just go ahead and put this back in the freezer. And I'll show you guys what these are looking like. So these are what they look like. Frozen but pre-seasoned patties. You don't really need to season them. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull the paper off the back. I believe the stove looks like it's getting hotter. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. So these are like frozen, frozen. So we're... Set that down there. And it's already starting to cook. Usually I would... Um, like cut up the onion and stuff like that. But ooh, we're not really going to do all of that right now. Boy, I'm just going to put cheese on it. Do you want onions? Do you need onion or is just the cheese okay? Okay. You know, sometimes you just don't feel like doing all that extra work. Let me make this down so you guys can see. Everything clearly. Okay. And you guys can hear that sizzling. So while that's cooking, I'm actually gonna go ahead and um, wash the dishes. And I'm also having some of my yummy lemon cake. So good. Let me show you guys. Mm. Lemon cake, so good. Mm. 
I actually eat the whole thing. But I won't. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. Get the other side get a little chance to get heat up as well. I'm going to cover the other ones I'm not using. I'm just going to wipe the stove down. Some of the oil splattered on here a little bit. We're just going to be making some good old-fashioned cheeseburgers. Nothing too crazy. And then, once I'm finished frying these burgers, I wanted to do a chit-chat video with you guys. Moi, can you pass me the iPhone, please? So guys, we're going to let this cook a little bit, and I'm going to come back and show you guys what it's looking like. Let's push it back over. And let it continue to cook, and stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back, I have to make sure I... I fully focused in. Okay. So as you guys can see, we are quite far along. The burger is actually almost done. And yeah, this feels, you know, standard classic beef burger. Nothing too crazy. I'm waiting for it to cook a little bit more and we'll go ahead and put the sliced cheese on top. Sometimes I use grated cheese. Like sometimes I'll cut off a chunk of the marble cheese and we'll grate it up. Um, but tonight we're just keeping it real simple. We had the milkshakes and all that other stuff earlier. So we're just trying to, you know, keep, keep it real light. Um, it's already kind of late in the evening, so I don't want to eat too, too much. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and get the cheese slices out. I was originally going to make meatballs and spaghetti. That was the original plan. But I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow night. Um... We just ended up going in a completely different direction. But yeah, guys. So I hope everyone is doing really, really well. Um, sorry, I forgot to say that earlier. I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope everyone's um, week is off to a really good start. My week begins tomorrow. So I'm definitely um, getting myself ready for that mentally, kind of prepping. Um yeah and that's what's going on so i'm just kind of taking it easy but yeah i hope you guys i hope your week is off to a good start um everyone had a good monday um of course i wanted to say rest in peace to all the victims from the mass shootings that are going on in california that went on in california um there were apparently two separate shootings um, so again, you know, rest in peace to all the victims um, and our condolences go out to their families. And yeah, you know, um, the world is just really, really, just really crazy right now. Um, I think everyone will agree to that. Like, it's just literally it's so crazy right now. That all you can do is just pray and hope for the best and try to be as safe as you can be. Um, but you just never know what's going on. You just never know. It's just a lot. 
and the year has just begun. So like there gets to a point when like you don't even know what to say. Um let me have in a little cup of juice. I'm gonna be drinking my favorite. I've shown you guys this in the haul. My little pink grapefruit juice. I love pink grapefruit juice. If you guys like pink grapefruit juice, let me know. It's so good. Some people don't like grapefruit juice. They find it to be sour. I personally like it. I had to do something to wash down that cake. But the cake was so good. Okay, so the burger is literally finished on one side. I'm just going to go ahead and add the slice of cheese. Um, Corn likes her cheese melted on a little bit. So do I, as a matter of fact. So we're going to go ahead and get the slice of cheese on there. And just kind of let it melt on. As the burger finishes cooking, I'm just going to go ahead and get the bread ready. regular sliced bread. More? Do you want a little bit of onion? I know she likes onions. I know she wants onions. So I'm just going to fry it up for her. have my Spanish sweet onion here. I'm just going to cut a piece off real quick. onions we love onions especially the sweet onions so good mm. nothing better on plastic burgers than lots of onions I'll let that fry up. I'll let that fry. And she likes the Diana sauce on the onion, so I'm gonna put a little bit in there while I put this burger onto the bread. frying in the corner I'm gonna go ahead and put my burger in there I'm just gonna peel the paper off and just kind of set it down right here it's gonna start cooking alongside the onion I don't really need to add any more oil because the burgers let off the grease their own grease so I don't want to oversaturate the pan with oil. So let me cook in the corner. I like the onions nice and cooked. I do a little salt and pepper on the onions. Just a little bit. A little 
little bit of pepper just for that little flavoring nothing too crazy and I'll put a little bit of the Diana sauce just to give it that little sweet so I gotta turn this up so my burger can cook Now I got a new bottle for those of you who watch my little cooking videos. Just a little bit, nothing too, not putting too much. So lightly, 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 lightly sweeten up the onions. They're already sweet because it's a Spanish sweet onion. So it just adds that little extra barbecue flavor into the onions. I'm gonna let them cook. Let me flip this over. And I'll turn this up a little bit. Okay guys, we're gonna let this kind of cook, do its thing, and we'll be right back to show you guys the progress. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you guys can see, the onions are well finished now. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Um, my burger is well on its way as well. So I'm just going to turn this down so I can actually get in here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the onions on here for her. Very nice and cooked. That's the way she likes it. And now I'll just go ahead and move my burger over. There's so much onion residue in here, I don't even need my burger is literally frying in onion juices. So I don't even need to cut any more onions up. But yeah, so this is what the top of her burger is looking like. Hopefully it doesn't look too crazy on camera. I don't even know how it looks, but hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get that ready for her. And yeah guys, so this is going to bring us to the end of my little cooking vlog. My little late night burger making with you guys. I'm actually doing the dishes. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my burger finish cooking on slow while I finish tidying up the kitchen. But if you guys have made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, we appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing, joining the family. We'd love to have you guys, and if you're already subscribed, like I said in the intro, thank you very much for doing so. We appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And until next video, guys, definitely, definitely um, stay up and stay blessed, and definitely stay safe. Deuces.